Okay, hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I got this makeup look using a full face of only Wet n Wild products. So I bought everything to do a full face of makeup using Wet n Wild makeup brand and honestly it went so well and this is the makeup look I created with everything. So yeah, if you guys wanna see how all of these Wet n Wild products worked and how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Hey so to start off with, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I have two eyebrow products by Wet n Wild. Uh, the first thing I have is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit in the shade Ash Brown. And this just has I have never used this. I opened it, but I never used it. It has like a little pair of tweezers, a small eyebrow brush, and then like a wax up here at the top, and then two powder shades. And then I also have here the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Brow Pencil in the shade Brunettes Do It Better. So that might be a little light for me, but then I can use like the darker brow powder so I'm just gonna go in with the pencil first and fill in my brows I'm gonna take the wet n wild photo focus concealer in the shade um, light ivory to clean up under my brows and I've used this concealer before and I love it I use it on my clients, this concealer is so, so good. I think I saw some videos of people comparing it to the Tarte Shape Tape. And I honestly think it is super comparable. I don't think they're like 100% dupes, but it's super comparable. So I highly recommend that concealer. Then I'm gonna start with my eyes at first like I usually do. I'm gonna take that same concealer again, put it all over my eyelids and use that as my eyeshadow primer. Then I'm gonna set the concealer with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the Dolce De Leche shade. And I'm gonna take this shade to just set this concealer. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I have a few different palettes from them. I have the um, what is this? The Color Icon Eyeshadow Collection in the shade Comfort Zone. It's just a ton of like earthy toned shadows, but they are all um, like shimmery, except the this one down. This is like a duochrome shade. This one looks like it has glitter, but like it doesn't really pick up that much glitter when you're applying it. Then I have this one, which I've never used. This is the same. Color Icon Eyeshadow Collection in the shade Poster Child. It's all of their colorful eyeshadows. So for the eyeshadows, this one actually has a lot of matte shades. So what I'm gonna do first is actually take a contour shade and use that as my transition. I'm gonna take the Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. And I'm gonna take the bronzer contour shade in that palette on a Morphe E27 and I'm gonna use that as my transition. And now I'm gonna go in with the Poster Child palette. I'm gonna take this red shade down here on a Wet n Wild crease brush. I picked up a ton of the brushes that like any I can find in the store. So if I have it, I'm gonna try to use a Wet n Wild brush. My first time using this brush too. It's the brush or the shadow. It's just not this like. I thought it was gonna be a little deeper. Okay, I'm gonna take a the same color with a different brush just to see if it's the brush that's not picking up the color well, or if it's uh, like just the shadow is just not super pigmented. So I'm gonna take my Morphe M441 and that same shade and see if we can build it up more. the Comfort Zone palette now, and I'm gonna take the Definer shade down here. And it looks sparkly, but the sparkles do not really pick up on the brush that much. And I'm gonna use this on the outer corners, and I'm actually just gonna go with that same Wet n Wild crease brush. So I'm gonna go back in with this concealer, 
And I'm gonna take this mini smudger brush from Wet n Wild. It reminds me a ton of my Morphe M508. I think it's a mini smudger from Morphe. It's what I use for my cut creases. And I'm gonna try to do a cut crease with this brush. So this brush is bomb. Pick that one up. I'm just gonna set this. So I'm gonna go first back in with that red shade in the M441 from Morphe to get bring a little bit of that color back because we kind of lost it with the brown. So I'm gonna do two different things for the lid. I'm gonna take the Comfort Zone palette and I'm gonna take these two shades and I'm gonna put them on my eyelid where I cut my crease. And then for this, I'm using this like small eyeshadow or like, I don't know, concealer brush. I don't know what it's really called from Wet n Wild. I'm also gonna just wet these. I don't have like a spray from Wet n Wild. So I'm just gonna use my Mario Badescu facial spray to dampen the brush. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna take that Wet n Wild blending brush and just blend the edge right here. Take the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. I hate this applicator, by the way. This is literally so hard to use and it's so stiff. I don't know what this is. It's like really, really strange. I don't know if I wanna add a wing. I don't think I'm gonna add a wing. I'm just gonna leave this line. I don't trust this wand. So I don't want to ruin the look. So I'm just gonna leave the line so that it covers my falsy still, but I'm not gonna trust it for a wing. So I didn't find any Wet n Wild lashes. I don't even know if they make false lashes. I have no idea. So I'm gonna be using the Dodo lashes in the style D105. Okay, so while I wait for my lash glue to dry, I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is the Wet n Wild. Mega Protein Mascara. I've never tried this before. Doesn't really do anything for my lashes. It's just kind of making them darker. And I'm also gonna use some um, like regular eyeliner. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable Eyeliner in the black one. It's really stiff. I'm gonna try to like, oh God. Broke it. I'm just gonna tight line, hopefully. So first, I'm gonna take the primer. Wet n Wild only has one primer, I think. It's like the only one they had in the store. It's just called the Cover All Primer. And it says it refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, and evens skin tone. So we're gonna give this a try. Okay, so you guys already know what foundation I'm about to take. It is my favorite foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the whole reason I wanted to do this video is because I am obsessed with this foundation. And I had no idea Wet n Wild had like this good of makeup, so I really wanted to try some of their other things. So I am going to be mixing the shades Golden Beige and Desert Beige. I'm going to use a stippling brush to blend it out with. And then I actually normally use this brush for cream contouring. I think it's like the small concealer brush, but it's also really good for cleaning up the eyebrows and getting really close. So I'm just gonna take a little more foundation on this brush and get closer to my brows. Then I'm gonna take my concealer. So I have both the Photo Focus Concealer in um, light medium beige and in light ivory. So I'm gonna use the really bright under my eyes and then the like a little bit darker shade everywhere else. I forgot I was gonna cream contour. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick and the contour one in the shade Wears Walnut. I've used this before and I really, really like it. It's so, so easy to blend out. I'm gonna blend this out with a e.l.f. mini stippling brush. So once 
I do that, I am gonna set all of them. So I do not have a translucent powder from Wet n Wild. I don't know if they have one or anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Dolce De Leche shade and I'm gonna scrape some off and make it loose to set my under eyes and kind of like bake with. Powder is actually so powdery that you really don't even need to scrape it. You can just like rub your beauty blender in it, so. Now I'm gonna take the Wet in Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Golden Tan. I love this powder, it's so good. And I'm gonna use this Sedona Lace 813 brush to just set my whole face with this powder. Now I'm gonna use both of these contouring kits for bronzing and highlighting, and I'm gonna use the shade in the caramel toffee palette to bronze and then the one in the dolce de leche to contouring and i'm going to be using a real techniques multi-task brush to bronze and i'm just using this real techniques contour brush to contour with Okay, I'm going to use the banana shade in the caramel toffee one to just brighten up my under eyes and what is this and clean up under this contour. For blush, I'm using the Color Icon uh, Color Icon Blush in the shade Apricot in the middle, and it's just this really pretty peachy shade. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild. Like, I think this is the contour brush. I like using this for blush though. Last, I'm gonna go back to the eyes and brows real quick. So let me do the brows. I'm gonna take these teeny blush. It's a little, little brush in here. I can pick it up with my nails. And the dark brown shade and just brush that through. Okay, first we're going in with the brown shade that we used in the transition with this large eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild. Then I'm taking my Morphe M506 in the like reddish shade. Lastly, I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown shade on just this. I really wanted to use this for something else. Like if I had a brow pomade, I honestly think this is gonna become my new brow brush because it's so precise. It's a Wet n Wild small angled brush. I'm gonna use this to just Press that um, like deeper brown shade against my waterline. I'm gonna take a little bit of it on that last brush to just blend it out in this outer corner. Then I'm gonna take this brow bone, brow bone, brow bone shade to highlight my brow bone. Mix a little bit of like this lavender shade in this look. I don't know where though. I'm gonna take a Morphe E17 with this shade and try to like work it into the crease, I guess. Ooh, ooh, I like that. It's like a little bit almost like iridescent. Okay, I'm gonna add that on the lower lash line too make it all even same brush now I'm just gonna apply some black liner and mascara on my lower lashes I have both of the mega glow highlighting powders in both shades it's precious petals and crown my canopy and I think I'm gonna use um, precious petals yeah I'm gonna use precious petals and I'm gonna highlight everything with this including my inner corners and my brow bone So first I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bare to Comment. And then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick in the shade Nudie Patootie. I'm using the Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Mega Slick Lip Gloss in Bronze Berry. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys liked this video of me doing this tutorial on a full face using wet and wild makeup honestly like 
I think majority of these products were hits. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys want to see more tutorials and videos using like a full face of one brand, definitely let me know. I definitely want to do a e.l.f. one soon just because Wet n Wild and e.l.f. are like the two cheapest drugstore brands. So I really want to do an e.l.f. one, but let me got, oh. But it, let me know what you guys want to see so that I can do that for you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.